Hi and welcome. Today we're going to be talking about the Gulf Railway. The Gulf Railway is a proposed railway system that would connect all six Gulf Cooperation Council member states, Saudi Arabia, Kuwait, Bahrain, Qatar, the United Arab Emirates, and Oman. The project was first proposed in 2009, and it is estimated to cost $250 billion. The railway would be over 2,000 kilometers long, and it would connect major cities in all six member states. The history of the Gulf Railway project is long and complex. The project was first proposed in 2009, but it has been delayed due to a number of factors, including low oil prices and lack of agreement among member states. However, there have been some recent signs of progress, and the project is now expected to be completed by 2025. The network of the Gulf Railway would be extensive. The railway would be over 2,000 kilometers long, and it would connect major cities in all six Gulf Cooperation Council member states. The railway would also connect to a number of other railway networks in the region, including the Saudi Railways Network and the Etihad Rail Network. The infrastructure of the Gulf Railway would be state-of-the-art. The railway would use high-speed trains that would be able to travel at speeds of up to 350 kilometers per hour. The railway would also be equipped with the latest safety and security technology. Benefits of the Gulf Railway Boost free movement in the GCC by providing unhindered travel from Kuwait to Oman. GCC nationals have visa-free entry to each other's countries. Boost intra-GCC trade by providing freight transport services. Create more than 80,000 direct and indirect jobs once it is made operational. Challenges of the Gulf Railway Financing the project, which has been exacerbated by volatile oil prices. Lack of alignment of the interests of the six states involved. Visa issues, illegal migration, smuggling, and competing economic agendas. Recent developments. In December 2016, the GCC Supreme Council stressed the importance of members being committed to the railway project and sent the draft project to the Economic and Development Commission to ensure timely implementation.